Now they are concerned about the future of Hong Kong and the autonomy of Hong Kong in the context of enjoying the basic law in Hong Kong at least till 2047. So now people are questioning that whether this is going to maintain their autonomy in Hong Kong or not and that is how the protest in Hong Kong has been rising tremendously in recent weeks, in recent last week in fact. All right. So this is what actually has been the story in Hong Kong. The most important point that we have to keep in mind is what? That of course protests also took place in 2019. Protest is also going on in Hong Kong in 2020. But what was the difference between these two protests? The first protest here in 2019 was against the Hong Kong government only. Because the chief executive or executive council, they were protest, they were they faced the brunt of protest, because the protest was directed against the government of Hong Kong only, because they were particular proposed this extradition bill. Fine. In 2020, the protest is against the government sitting in Beijing. The protest is against the mainland China. All right, and that is the reason why. This protest has gained a huge, you can say, momentum in last few days, all right? And every day you will find some of the other news keep coming from Hong Kong. And recently, when China has become very aggressive and also started adopting repressive policies, very aggressive and repressive policies against the pro-democratic parties of Hong Kong, many of the Hong Kongers, many millions in fact, millions of Hong Kongers have sought the visa to get back into England. So visas are being sought in huge, in huge number in last few days from Hong Kong to get back into London or get back into Britain. That's the reason why now in Britain also the British Prime Minister in factory itself in the newspaper has uh, has actually openly acknowledged that they have got a huge you can say request for the visas from the Hong Kong citizens. Now they are considering, in fact, offering visas to millions of the Hong Kongers who want to resettle back into London, or right, London or any other city of Britain. So in this situation only, the crisis can be seen. But the implication of this crisis is very, very, you can say, vast because Hong Kong, I just told you, it actually has been a seat of economic powerhouses of entire Asian subcontinent. It's in entire Asian continent, in fact, in that way. So obviously, the Southeast Asian subcontinent region that from this region you have actually have had almost all the multinational companies having their base in Hong Kong so once this particular Hong Kong will face such kind of crisis obviously the economy will feel will face some more uh, serious problem in near uh, future in your weeks uh, for all for all of us all right so this is what actually has been the issue there in Hong Kong so economic crisis is going to take place in Hong Kong for sure if at all the situation does not normalize or uh, if at all China does not actually allow to withdraw this such kind of national security bill which China has already made the intention very clear this bill is not going to be withdrawn for sure now in this particular tussle of course US and Europe actually have been critical to the Chinese uh, stand over Hong Kong and one thing that you have to keep in mind always in 1992 America actually has had announced a policy a policy for Hong Kong and all the other colonies of, of, of Britain that the way the British government has dealt with the colonies uh, after decolonization America will also follow the same sort of you can say uh, policy for the colonies of Britain including Hong Kong so Hong Kong was receiving a lot of privileges from America also in terms of easy investment in terms of uh, of course tax free uh, you can say import of the goods and services from Hong Kong so these all things were given to Hong Kong but now America has also uh, taken a tough stand against Hong Kong especially in the context of Chinese policy so that actually act has been interpreted by many of the business you can say uh, experts this is going to create another you can say panic uh, in the economic market very soon and therefore uh, in the recent context you see the US, China are at loggerhead, at, they are at loggerhead for sure, whether you take the example of Hong Kong and even in the context of Ladakh that we have discussed just now, because there before yesterday only, Indian Prime Minister and uh, the President of America, Donald Trump, they actually have had an interaction, uh, of course, over phone regarding the situation there in Ladakh. So obviously, uh, American President has taken a call that they have, uh, yesterday only, he has announced to 
uh, stop all the Chinese airlines to come down to America. So this is how the tension actually is increasing between America and China altogether. And Hong Kong is also adding more fuel into the fire uh, of tension between US and China, Europe and China altogether. Because China is already in dock because of coronavirus, we all know about it. So this is how we have to interpret the issue of Hong Kong. Fine. So I will keep it till here only. So in my next video, I'll take up some other current affairs issues as well. But at the same time, I will complete my other lectures of modern India very soon, and then I'll move to even art and culture videos as well. All right. So see you uh, till that uh, till that time. Take care and uh, keep studying hard. All right, and keep watching these videos uh, frequently or regularly so that you can be clear with all these developments. So these entire developments you have to remember in your mind for examining the issue of Hong Kong very thoroughly and very clearly fine so on this information you will be able to write any answer there in GS paper 1 of the mains and also solving the questions if at all in prelims they ask you any question on the issue of Hong Kong fine so till that time till then see you again goodbye take care bye bye